Hi there and welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our NinTrader 8 library. Short video, about 10 minutes with a brief explanation of the main indicator concept, most important functions and how you can use it in a trading setup, along with a download to the indicator itself. And this time we're talking about the Supertrend M11 indicator, which is a trailing stop uh, built from a baseline and a volatility offset. It is a uh, enhancement of the maximum adverse excursion concept uh, that was introduced by John Sweeney in the mid uh, 90s. Most commonly, as mentioned, applied as a trailing stop indicator adjusting to both uh, prices and volatility. So uh, with the high volatility, you will uh, have a trailing stop further removed from price, whereas uh, low volatility will see the trailing stop move closer to prices. Uh, the internal mechanics of the super trend indicator is uh, comparable to the chandelier stop, uh, but uh, for the long scenario, you will not set uh, the trailing stop uh, based on the highest high, but uh, from a median plus a average true range uh, period. And uh, so both uh, values here are calculated uh, for the last bar, uh, preventing the trailing stop level from adjusting during the current bar. So that stays in place. Therefore, the uh, M here stands for median, whereas the double one indicates uh, that the median and the volatility offset each are calculated uh, one bar ago. And therefore the super trend indicator does not recalculate the stop level with each incoming tick, which of course will optimize your CPU load. Finally, there are two options for defining the uh, break of the stop line intrabar high and low, as opposed to the close above or below. We have uh, used the uh, close option as the default uh, setting here to reduce uh, the number of uh, whipsaws. And so that is a additional requirement that the bar actually close below for the long scenario, whereas here we see just a high and the low values triggering a number of um, trend changes or alternating stop lines, if you will. Other than a trailing stop, uh, you can use uh, the super trend uh, as well as a trend filter displaying the trend uh, via paint bars or exposing it uh, via public property in a automated strategy uh, or use it with another indicator. We do not really recommend using the super trend uh, for entry definition unless the market is uh, known to be in a clear trend simply because uh, the entry signals uh, come with a significant delay. The library has uh, two versions uh, of the super trend uh, indicator, the M11, which we have uh, discussed uh, so far, but also the U11. As mentioned, the M stands for median, uh, whereas uh, the U is the universal version. Uh, featuring a wide selection of uh, moving averages and algorithmic uh, options for calculating the trend baseline and volatility offsets. There are more than 30 different moving averages uh, for baseline smoothing and four options for calculating the volatility offset. And default setting is, uh, again, the average true range uh, from a selected uh, moving average. And uh, you can also uh, select uh, the average range, uh, residual mean, absolute deviation, or the residual root mean square definition. And you also have the option to uh, define the trailing distance from the selected moving average uh, by uh, the offset multiplier. So a large multiplier will produce fewer reversals or signals than um, small multipliers. So the Supertrend U11 is uh, therefore more versatile and capable of recreating a number of uh, other trailing stop loss uh, indicators, such as the GAN high-low activator or the ATR trailing stop, setting the Supertrend uh, algorithmic options as follows, SMA baseline smoothing and uh, 
offset formula true range, the offset smoothing wilder, the input uh, parameters uh, using the ATR trailing stop default settings, 1, 10, and 3.5. And then you will see here the same output as for the ATR trailing stop, producing it now with the Supertrend U11. Uh, you can also do the same with the high-low activator. You first then uh, choose the median as uh, input series uh, for the indicator itself. Uh, next, in the algorithmic uh, options, uh, you would uh, set uh, those as follows. Uh, again, SMA for the uh, baseline smoothing, offset formula range, and uh, offset smoothing SMA again and the input parameters uh, the same as the original high-low activator of course so baseline smoothing set to 50 offset period 50 and then the offset multiplier 0 0.5 so with that uh, i'll wrap up uh, this indicator spotlight of the supertrend uh, m11 that is uh, in the trailing stop uh, category uh, along with uh, the GAN high-low activator and the ATR trailing stop that we discussed. You can also find the chandelier crawl stop and uh, the deviation stop, as well as the Wilder's volatility stop. In total, about 145 tools and indicators in the library available for a one-time payment of only 150 bucks. So that's not per indicator, not a monthly fee or anything like that. 150 for all of them for a one-time flat fee. Uh, if you would like to see uh, more indicator spotlights, subscribe to our channel. Give uh, this video here a thumbs up or leave me a comment below. Feedback is always good uh, to let me know that you're out there. And uh, with that, uh, Chris Lassen signing off from Berlin, Germany. Appreciate you taking the time and tuning in. Have a great uh, weekend, and I look forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care, and bye-bye.